Okay, let's have a review of negative numbers and afterwards we'll look at some shortcuts, um, mental shortcuts with numbers. Um, the problem is how do we remember well, what rule applies to what? And so first of all we'll just quickly review all the different rules that we've covered and then we'll mix them up and see if we can tell uh, what, what we need to do. So first of all is adding negatives. For example, you've got $10 plus an electric bill of fifty dollars. That's a positive ten plus negative fifty and the trick trick throughout for all these is to read what's going on. It says ten plus negative fifty. Notice that there's a plus there, it's not this. It's not ten times negative fifty. That would be multiplication. This is addition, this is multiply. Okay, so it's not that. And positive ten, negative fifty makes negative forty, right? Um, so do this one. A parking ticket of $60 plus a DSL bill of $20. What does that make? So if you have a parking bill ticket of $60 and a DSL bill of $20, that means you're in debt by $80 if you add them together, right? So two negatives added make a negative. So that's totally different than negative 60 times negative 120 or sorry, times negative 20, right? That would be multiplication. So this is addition, it's not multiplication, so we've got to watch out for that. So go ahead and do this one. If you had a negative 16 plus 7 plus a negative 9 plus a negative 14. And again, you might see a shortcut with this. If you look at uh, 16 and 14, they're both negative, and if you put them together, they actually make negative 30. You might be able to see that. If you have a positive 7 and a negative 9, put these ones together, and that's 7 positives and 9 negatives makes 2 negatives, so that's negative 30 plus negative 2. And 30 negatives plus 2 negatives makes how many negatives? Negative 32, right? Okay, subtracting positives, of course, no problem when if we, in our bank account, we have, well, let's have a look at that, a bank account. So in your bank, you have $100, and you subtract 40. So $100 subtract 40 you're obviously left with 60, right? However, if you have negative $200 in the bank account, and then you subtract 40, what happens? And again, notice there are no parentheses, so this is not multiplication, because a lot of students like to remember, okay, two negatives make a positive. Well, that's not actually true. It's two negatives multiplied make a positive. Negative times negative makes a positive. But this is not multiplication. This is subtraction, in fact. If you are in debt negative 200 and you then subtract 40, you will be in debt by 240. Okay? Uh, another trick we learned was that we can turn this subtract sign to plus negative. So now it says negative 200 plus negative 40. That makes negative 240, right? So how about you're in debt by $15, and then you subtract 5. What does that leave you with? Now reading this, it's negative 15, subtract 5. So if you're in debt by 15, you subtract 5, now you're in debt by 20, right? Or you can turn this subtraction to plus negative. Now it says negative 15 plus negative 5 and negative 20. So do this one, negative 1 minus 1. Again, you're in debt by $1. Subtract $1, you're in debt by $2. Or change this to plus negative. Now it says negative 1 plus negative 1 gives negative 2. And again, remember, it's not multiplication. This is subtraction. So when we subtract positives, we can take that negative sign and turn it into plus negative. I mean, take the subtract sign and turn it into plus negative. Now, subtracting negatives, what we've got to remember is 
negative 400 might represent your rent for the month, monthly rent. Now, if I do this, put a negative in front of it, this negative here might represent cancel. Cancel that debt. If this debt of $400 is canceled, is taken away, take away a debt, that's the same as adding 400, okay? So again, you may have a negative 90 on your, say, credit card, but if that is canceled, it will look like this on the credit card. If you cancel a fee of $90, that looks like this. Take away the debt. Take away the fee of 90. That's like giving you $90. So what we learned with subtracting negatives is that negative negative can be written plus plus. So if you have a thousand dollars in your bank and you take away a bill of three hundred, cancel a bill of an electric fee of, of three hundred dollars, now you have thirteen hundred dollars. Or whenever you see negative, negative, you can write plus, plus. So subtract negative can be changed to plus, plus. If your um, credit card statement is negative $200 and you want to cancel a television that you bought for $500, so you're in debt 200 on the credit card, now you're taking away a bill of 500 because you're canceling the television you bought for $500. Well, now you're going to be $300 um, positive now. You'll have $300 credit. So again, the negative negative changes to plus plus. Okay. And we also did things like this. If we have, say, negative 2 minus negative 3. Uh, subtract 5, subtract negative 1, subtract 4, subtract 1. Press pause and see if you can calculate this. And again, we need to be able to do all of this mentally, all of this by hand. If you use a calculator for this, you're completely wasting your time and money. And the most likely outcome is that you will not get to college algebra. Okay? So please learn all of this mentally and learn your addition tables, learn your multiplication tables. So, subtract negative, plus plus. Subtraction can be changed to plus negative. Subtract, subtract, plus plus. Subtract on its own, plus negative. Subtract on its own, plus negative. Now, we can put all the negatives together. Negative 2 and negative 5 makes negative 7, and negative 4 is negative 11, and negative 1 is negative 12. All right, so we've got negative 12. So they're taken care of. And then the positives, we've got positive 3 and positive 1. Put those together, that makes plus 4. 12 negatives plus 4 positives. Put them together, 8 negatives, right? Okay. Now, let's quickly review multiplying, dividing negatives, and then what happens when we mix up the operations. So, multiplying negatives. Well, we're okay with positives because two $50 bills, that's a positive times a positive. Two $50 bills gives $100. So, positive times positive definitely gives positive. But, compare that to this. This is add two $50 bills. This is subtract two $50 bills. If you subtract two $50 bills, that's like subtracting $100, isn't it? So we have that a negative times a positive is definitely equal to negative, right? We also saw um, if you have three electricity bills of 300 or three rent bills of three hundred dollars each that's three of these negatives that's a positive or rather should put that in green a positive times a negative and that is definitely negative nine hundred dollars right 
So positive times part negative definitely gives a uh, negative. The most interesting one of all is negative times negative gives positive. So here's two rent bills of four hundred dollars. If you cancel, take away two rent bills of four hundred dollars. That's a negative two times a negative four hundred. That gives positive eight hundred, and should be just written eight hundred because it takes up less ink to write eight hundred than plus eight hundred. Um, if you buy uh, three shirts for fifty dollars each at the store, that's a negative one fifty. If you cancel those purchases, take away three three negative fifties. That's like a negative times a negative, and that gives positive 150. Okay? And dividing negatives, we saw negative 10 over 5 is the same as 10 over negative 5, which is the same as negative 10 over 5, for example. Let's explore that. Negative 10 divided by 5 gives negative 2, right? Negative over positive gives negative. 10 over negative 5. Positive over negative gives negative, and 10 over 5 is 2. This is negative 10 over 5. That's a negative number, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we can write a fraction with the negative here, here, or here. In and here it's in line with the fraction bar, right? So for example, Negative 1 over 3 can be written two other ways. Can you write down the two other ways it can be written? Negative 1 third, 1 divided by 3 can be written 1 over negative 3 and also or, sorry, oops, also negative 1 third, right? And we also saw um, negative over negative gives positive. So for example, negative 36 over negative 12. A pizza costs $12. The bill is ne is 36. So uh, the bill for one pizza, how many one bills of one pizza are contained in a combined bill of $36? Well, the answer is 3. Negative over negative gives positive. Out of a total bill of a thousand dollars, how many uh, rent checks of five hundred dollars are contained in that bill? How many negative five hundreds are in negative a thousand? Well, there's negative five hundred plus negative five hundred. One, two of them. So the answer is two. Negative over negative gives positive. Okay, so. If we mix up the operations, write down the answer to this. Negative 3 times negative 4. Now write the answer to this. Negative 3 minus 4. So give the answer to each one of those. So the key, when we mix the operations up, the key is read the problem. This says negative 3, then it's touching a parenthesis. And that means multiply. So it's negative 3 multiplied by negative 4, which gives a positive 12. In this case, there's no parentheses. It's negative 3 minus 4. You're in debt $3. You subtract $4, you're in debt 7. Now do this one. Negative 3 plus negative 4. Now in this case, it's addition. That's the operation. It says, if you read it, it says negative 3 plus negative 4. This parentheses does not mean multiply. It just contains the negative. Negative 3 and negative 4 is negative 7, right? So how about these ones? Try negative 3, do this, then do this, then do this. So get the answer to each of these problems.
Now the first one is negative 3, and it's touching the parenthesis, right beside the parenthesis. That means multiply. So it's negative 3 multiplied by negative 3, which is positive 9. It could also be written like this. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3. Negative times negative, positive. This one says negative 3 minus 3. You're in debt $3. You subtract $3. Now you're in debt by 6. This one is negative 3 plus negative 3. Again, this parenthesis does not mean multiply. It's just there to get, separate the plus sign from the negative sign. Negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6, right? And next up, let's have a look at some shortcuts, uh, some mental shortcuts for operations. For example, write the answer to this. One quarter plus three quarters. Think about money. If you had a quarter and you added three quarters, what would you have? What would you have a whole dollar? You'd have four quarters, right? Or one. So what is two-fifths plus three-fifths equal to? <coughs> two-fifths and three-fifths is definitely five-fifths or one, isn't it? And how about um, a half plus a half? One half of a dollar plus a half of a dollar is one dollar, isn't it? Okay, so if we had seven and a quarter plus one and a half plus one and three quarters plus three and a half, how would we go about adding those numbers together? What would be the easiest thing to do? Well, let's have a look at the quarters and the halves, okay? How about this? How about add these together and then these together? That would be easy, wouldn't it? Seven and a quarter plus one and a quarter. Well, seven and one makes eight, and a quarter and three quarters makes one. Eight and one is nine, so that's nine. Put that in red. Plus... Then we've got one and a half plus three and a half. Well, one and three is four. Half and a half is one, four and one is five. So we've got five for that. Nine, five makes 14, right? How about negative two and two thirds plus one and two thirds? What would that make? You've got negative two and two thirds plus one and two thirds. Well, let's think about this. Wouldn't um, negative two thirds plus two thirds make zero, for, for instance, right? So this two thirds is negative, this two thirds is positive, and they cancel out. Then we have negative two and positive one. So the whole thing makes negative one, right? So how about um, negative four and three quarters plus one and three quarters minus ten and a half minus three and a half. Well, again, look at the quarters and the halves. If we put the quarters together. This is kind of like, this is a negative 4 and 3 quarters. So this 3 quarters is negative, this 3 quarters is positive, and they cancel out. Then you have negative 4 plus 1, negative 3. Now we've got negative 10 and a half minus 3 and a half. Um, the negative 10, the negative 3 makes negative 13. The neg this is a negative a half, this is a negative a half, and they make negative 1. So it's negative 3 minus 14 or negative 3 plus negative 14, you can write that way also, and that makes negative uh, 17. Let me just double check that, 13, uh, whoops, let me get that wrong, no I didn't. That's definitely negative 3, negative 13, negative 14, 
Okay, I think that's right. And Okay, what if we had, for example, 9 times 4 thirds times 0 0.75? Well, the 0 0.75 is like 75 cents. How many quarters is that? How many quarters and 75 cents? Well, that's 3 quarters, isn't it? So what we have is 9 times 4 thirds times 3 over 4. Now if we remember how to multiply fractions, we can cross cancel the 3's, cross cancel the 4's, and the answer is 9. So you might want to write these as fractions, just um, they might, might help to be able to write things like this as fractions. Think about money, 0 0.25, how many cents is that? 25 cents? So is that a quarter? 25 cents, that's the same as 25 over 100 if you like, but down to that goes one, down to that goes four times. It simplifies to a quarter. 0 0.50, you might know as a half. How about 1.25? It's a dollar and 25 cents. How many quarters is that? How many quarters in a dollar 25? Well, it's four and one dollar plus one. That makes five quarters, doesn't it? 